Hello, the Board of Trustees of the Nutrition Society have asked me to update you on their behalf on the current actions and activities of the Society in the middle of this very difficult national situation. The Trustees are meeting more frequently uh, by video conference on a monthly basis uh, to keep on top of the situation to be very proactive in their leadership. So I'm just going to update you on a few current issues. First of all, our committees. Uh, the committees really are the backbone of the society. They do a lot of the strategic work, the planning, the detailed thinking, the creativity. And they're continuing to meet by video conference, telephone and email. Next week, the Publications Committee, which oversees the, uh, the journals and the textbooks that they're meeting and also meeting with our publishers, Cambridge University Press. And then over the next couple of weeks, the Training Academy is going to meet and then the very important scientific committee meets and the scientific committee is the body that plans all of our conferences and are working two to three years ahead. Our conferences, uh, we've had to make some changes there. The Irish section meeting due to take place in Limerick for the first time in June, we had to cancel that. Uh, but I'm delighted to say that the local organisers are going to be able to host that for us next year, which is very good news. Our summer meeting, the main meeting of the year in Aberdeen, has also been cancelled. In both of these cases, we reached a kind of no-go, go situation and had to make a decision based on the real complexity around whether people are still going to be able to meet in groups or travel. And in both cases, we felt it best to cancel uh, the conference. The next conference on the horizon is Nutrition Futures, which is the annual student competition and conference that takes place in September. The trustees are going to review that in May at their May meeting just to see uh, where we are with that and whether we need to make any uh, adjustments to that program. But whilst conferences have gone obviously very quiet, the Training Academy has picked up a lot of the slack and is working with the Scientific Committee to produce an innovative and quite unique event for July to replace uh, some of our uh, more usual activities. Uh, the Training Academy is going to be running NS Live, Nutrition Society Live 2020, a unique event which will see up to 10 plenary speakers from Harvard and from Toronto and from the UK and Europe uh, delivering live and pre-recorded plenary sessions. There'll be uh, opportunity for some OCs. There'll be an electronic virtual poster competition. Um, the webinars uh, and go to meeting and Zoom format will kind of underpin uh, the whole process. It's very interesting seeing this come together. There's also going to be some obviously some networking opportunities around that as well. Abstracts, the call for those is open. Uh, we're at nearly 30 already as I record this uh, session. There is a limit to the number we can accept and um, so please get those abstracts in early. Registration for the event will open next week. Uh, the Training Academy is also running their very popular webinar series throughout this. This week we've offered two linked to the COVID-19 situation. Um, I'm very pleased to see that we were able to offer uh, the NHS workers for the first time complimentary places on those webinars. It's a small thank you from the Society uh, for their work and support to the nation. And the Training Academy's Journal Club continues to go from strength to strength. Looking a little bit further ahead to our winter season, um, we're holding our first awards afternoon in London on the 7th of December. That will see the Silver Medal lecture, it will see the BJN Paper of the Year Award for the first time, a lecture for that, and also the first Elsie Widdison Senior Award lecture. All of those taking place uh, in one afternoon, followed by our annual reception. And then on the next two days, the 8th and 9th, we move over to the Royal Society to host our winter meeting and a very packed programme we have in there. Registration for those events will open, I suspect, over the summer months once the situation is a little bit clearer. And to finish with, administratively, uh, the society, I think, is in, uh, is in good shape. The staff uh, from the society uh, started working from home on the 25th of March, along with most of the nation. Uh, we've uh, temporarily closed the offices in Cambridge Court. 
we're looking forward to returning as soon as we can, but I've been very pleased with the positivity and the proactiveness that the, uh, the team has shown around these uh, difficult, unusual times. Financially, we're in very sound position, as many of you will know. We have very strong cash reserves, which are helping us uh, through, uh, uh, through this moment in time, which is exactly why we needed to build up those reserves. So that decision by the trustees uh, was a very sound one. So in summary, um, all is well uh, on behalf of the trustees. Um, I hope you found this update useful. Um, they're going to meet again on May the 19th and I'll send you another update shortly after that. But in the meantime, thank you very much uh, for listening and for watching.